Hi, it's Brad Shores with Tropical Shores Steel Drum Lessons. On today's lesson, we're going to look at the song Waiting in Vain, Bob Marley. Well, Bob Marley's song Waiting in Vain is a great song. Uh, there's a couple challenging things about this, the way I've arranged it, because it's in the key of G and it starts on a high F sharp. The, the beginning notes in this song are higher up in the pan, or meaning, meaning the smaller circles. That kind of presents a problem for uh, some people, but you have to understand when you play smaller notes, you have to hit a little harder, but some, sometimes it's hard to keep control of that, so that's just an encouragement to uh, make sure that you're getting inside the pan. I'm not trying to play. You can't hear that, so really get some, really get some muscles going there. Uh, <clears throat> the song also has about two, the, the main body of the song has two chord changes, G major, G, B, D, F sharp, and also has C, E, G, uh, B. So at the beginning, there's not very many chord changes to work with, which again is, a, is kind of a blessing and a curse. There's not a lot of chords to worry about, but you have to kind of work with those two chords. So uh, that's kind of a challenge. Um, the bridge section has a little bit of different chords, and I'll notate those, but I probably won't do the improv on those. I might mention some things about it. So here we go at the beginning. thing I noticed on this song was that <clears throat> when you play uh, G and B, which is part of the G chord, G, B, D, and, and actually it's the G, B, D, F sharp chord, it's a 1, 7 chord, it has a 1, a 3, a 5, and a 7 in it. When you stay on G and B, 
which is a nice song, which is a nice chord tone. But when it changes to uh, the C chord, it goes C E G B because it's so it's one seven chord. It has the one, the three, the five, the seven. If you stay on those two notes, G and B, the chord changes to a C chord, and it makes a nice. It makes you sound like you're playing a cool lick, but actually you're just playing those two notes. It just the background changes. So it's a it's a great way to uh, play repetition over that note. And I also use the G pentatonic scale a lot, um, as you noticed. The it's the G A B D E. Of course, I started down here. You can do two octaves of it, and that that scale has a lot of. It has a lot of the same chord tones as the C chord, so you can use that that scale and really sound like you're doing something great. Because the, again, the chord changes behind you, so it sounds like you're doing a, a really cool lick. But in actuality, you're just repeating the the uh, G pentatonic, and that's that's a great lick on its own. But when you then change the background, it makes it sound all the cool. I explain it like this: It's like you're having your picture taken wearing the same shirt. They change the background, and you go, "Hey, that's a cooler shirt." But actually, it's it's the same shirt. It's just a different background. It's exactly the same with music. When you change the background of what you're playing, it makes the lick sound even cooler, or it makes it sound different. It's really not though. So even when you're doing scales, I did this scale. Only I did it like this, I think. When I did that scale, it's just the G scale with with some embellishment and a, and a pattern. This pattern start on a G. Went to G to A first. It's a cool little lick, but when the when the pattern changes behind you, or the chord changes. It makes it even that much better. So that's the kind of neat thing about waiting in vain. The chords behind you change, but you can really stay on one on one chord tone, or do a lot of repetition, or quote the melody, or do some embellishment. A little grace note to E flat to E. It sounds great. Or you can go. Chord tone that you play, you can use a half step under it, it'll sound great. So, uh, a lot of different things to work with on this one. Well, that's it for today. I want to thank you for watching the channel and I encourage you to uh, ask questions, make comments. Uh, we do send out these videos about every Sunday night, so if you're subscribed, you'll see them. Uh, also, I want to encourage you to go to uh, tropicalshores.net for your book needs. I also want to encourage you to go to panland.ning.com, which is a social network for steel drum players. There's free videos on there, or, uh, there's free music on there for download. There's also, you can meet pan players from all over the world and see what they're up to. Thanks again, we'll see you next time.